Lico Rico is the best cafe in the entire world. <laughs> in episode eight of Licorice Recoil, Takina takes over the finances of Lico Rico and creates a brand new parfait. Uh, perfect for a colder season. And now that we are in the fall, it is the perfect time to enjoy a delicious hot chocolate parfait from Licorice Recoil. Hot piece of poop. A hot piece of poop. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, full ingredients for this uh, is down in the description as well as uh, uh, instructions to make this. So, a little history about parfait. When I first saw this, I was like, hmm, that's not a parfait that I know about because normally, as Donkey said, parfaits have layers. Shrek? Okay. Yeah, okay. I understood that it was from Shrek, yeah. Um, but that's an American parfait. We're talking about a French parfait. Now, it is a frozen treat uh, with custard and cream mixed together. Sadly, I wasn't able to come up with a piped version of this, which would have added to the poop effect. Uh, so I went ahead and got myself some poop molds. Uh, so a full list of things that I'm using down in the description. Uh, let's jump into the recipe. Nothing too crazy for ingredients today, especially if you're choosing not to use the mold, but more on that later. This recipe calls for gelatin and three packets of hot chocolate mix, so sadly not a dietary restrictions friendly recipe. The poop mold was purchased online, links in the description, but it's not necessary for this recipe. For the cake base, I'll be using the silicone mold, however any cake tin will do, so long as it can be cut to size. Let's start by making our gelatin. In a bowl, add four teaspoons of warm water. Then sprinkle the one teaspoon of gelatin over the top and set aside. Next, we make our stabilized whipped cream. Using one cup heavy whipping cream, 30 grams powdered sugar, one half teaspoon vanilla extract, and one of our three sachets of hot chocolate mix. Now, whisk the mixture. I'm doing it by hand because I don't have a stand mixer or electric mixer, though I should have gotten one for this recipe. Whisk until soft peaks form. Now we're gonna add our gelatin. To get it to combine, take a fork full of mix and whisk that into the gelatin. This should help prevent any clumping. Once it's combined, slowly add it into the cream while whisking. And then whisk some more. And more. And more. Whisk until the sun dies out, or until stiff peaks form, whichever happens first. Cover and let chill. Next up, we start our custard. For this, pour 200 milliliters of milk into a saucepan, then add another sachet of hot chocolate mix. Stir and heat until combined. Now, let's make another gelatin mix for the custard. Put it in the microwave for about 10 seconds and set aside, and let's continue with the custard mix. In a large bowl, combine four large egg yolks, I kept the whites for breakfast the next day. Add in the final sachet of hot chocolate mix, then 65 grams of powdered sugar. Whisk until thoroughly combined. Remove the gelatin and once again combine with a small dab of the custard mix to ensure it joins nicely. Then slowly add the gelatin to the custard mix while whisking thoroughly. Using a double boiler over medium heat, combine the custard mix with the hot chocolate mix from earlier, being sure to whisk as it cooks. Then whisk some more.
Remove it from the heat and allow it to cool. In order to keep the consistency, I'm using an ice pack beneath the bowl. Continue stirring as the mixture cools. Chill for a few minutes, then stir again. Repeat until the mixture is completely chilled. Once it is completely chilled, we're going to mix in our whipped cream until it's thoroughly combined. Here's where we have two options. We can prep and fill our mold. <laughs> or we can put the mixture into a bag and freeze for three hours, at which point it should become pipeable. In either case, now we make our cake base. I'm using a standard issue Betty Crocker cake mix and our silicone molds from earlier. First, preheat the oven to 325 degrees Fahrenheit. Then following the instructions on the box, we combine our mix, eggs, oil, and water until smooth. Filling our molds about halfway should give the cake room to expand. Put in the oven for about 20 minutes. and check periodically with a dowel or toothpick until it comes out clean. Once it has, remove from the oven. Cool it completely. And then remove the cake from the molds. If necessary, cut to size. Now we plate. Start with a cake base. And either pipe or remove your parfait from the mold. Add a little more edible glitter. Chocolate syrup. And you're done. One hot chocolate parfait from Licorice Recoil. We're back. Uh, so here we have it, our hot chocolate parfait. So how does it look? Look at this little poop, this little it's, poop nugget. It's, it's so poop. good, oh uh, my god. So as I stated before, uh, it was a lot of trial and error to get this. Um, as you can see, the mold has held shape very well. Uh, the cake is cake. Uh, there's it's the one- It's tinier than the talkiness. Okay. And so you've Ooh. had this before. You've had some of my iterations where it is a very rich, very decadent uh, 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 parfait. And the size that they bring out, I think would give you diabetes. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm very happy with this, the smaller portioned one. Uh, I will say though, you have the option to pipe it uh, after three hours of freezing, like I said before, you can put it in the fridge, let it set there after freezing for a little bit, uh, and then pipe it out, but it doesn't retain its shape as much. So if you've got another way to do this, let me know down in the comments. I am clearly not an expert baker. Let's jump into it, guys. Yay. Oh, and this is like the perfect consistency. So soft. Mm. And this is real gold. <laughs> Mm. 
Oh, wow. That is so good. Oh, wow. That's really good. And lots of tasty hot chocolate. Mm. Perfect for fall. Oh, wow. Guys, this is insane. Mm. This is really good. I can see why this is such a big hit, not just because it looks like poop. Oh, wow. It's really good. Mm-hmm. Mm. Delicious. I did take a lactate, so... <laughs> Um, because, I won't turn out like that. Because we're uh, using the... Poop. I won't poop. You won't poop your pants. Yeah. Uh, because we're using a, a structured whipped cream, uh, it didn't really work too well with non-dairy heavy whipping cream. So sorry for all my uh, lactose intolerant folks. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh gosh, it's so good. I need more of that. Mm. Okay, you have that last bite. Oh my god, it's so good. Yeah, it's, it's really very good. sugary. It's very rich, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, that's my... Okay. Delicious. Mm -hmm. mm, good? Mm. Delicious. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, this was a real challenge, as I stated in the opening. Oh, yeah. Parfait, not what I thought it was. Very interesting to learn freezing, setting, mixing the cream, mixing everything together, and then kind of just like getting into that poop shape. So thanks everybody that, that had their input on the journey. Uh, 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 but uh, What a beautiful poop that was. A beautiful, beautiful delicious poop that uh, was. Let us know if you guys make a poop of your own. Uh, find us at LWSA underscore on Twitter and send us a picture. Uh, but hey, until next time, goodbye. Nom, 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 n